So now I'm going to talk about one of the applications of the ideal gas law. And one of the applications of the ideal gas law deals with a property called molar volume. And the molar volume of a gas is simply uh, the volume occupied by one mole of the gas. And this molar volume can be calculated using the ideal gas law equation, PV equals nRT, as long as the pressure P and the temperature T are given. And now I'm going to introduce uh, something called standard temperature and uh, in pressure, or STP. And this is just uh, standard temperature and pressure is defined as when your temperature is equal to zero degrees Celsius, which is equal to 273 Kelvin. I put the 273 Kelvin in red because that's the one that you're going to be using when you use PV equals NRT. Remember, always use absolute temperatures, never uh, relative temperatures. So never use the Celsius temperature uh, when using this equation. And so that's the temperature. And the pressure at STP is 1.00 atmospheres. So we have N. We define that to be one mole by definition of molar volume. We have T at STP, and we have P at STP, so the N and R, of course, is a constant, so that means we can solve uh, for the volume. So how about we calculate the uh, molar volume of a gas, of an ideal gas, at STP, standard temperature and pressure. So we're going to use the relationship PV equals NRT. Our pressure, P, that's going to be 1.00 atm. Our N, by definition, is 1.00 moles. R, that's a constant, which is equal to 0 0.08206 liters times atmospheres over moles times kelvins. And our T at STP, is zero degrees Celsius or 273 Kelvins. So now we have all the pieces. We just need to algebraically solve for the volume. So if we do this, um, I'll get that my volume is equal to, we're going to divide both sides of the ideal gas law equation by P to arrive at V is equal to NRT over P. And now all we have to do is just plug those numbers in. So we have V is equal to N, that is 1.00 moles. R, the gas constant, 0 0.08206 liters times atmospheres over moles times kelvins. And then we have our T, which is 273 kelvins. And we put all of this over the pressure, which is 1.00 atmospheres. And looks like uh, moles cancels with moles. Atmospheres cancels with atmospheres. Kelvins cancels with kelvins. And we're left with nothing but liters. And the volume if you were to put this into a calculator, would be 22.4 liters. So 22.4 liters is the volume of one mole of an ideal gas at standard temperature and pressure. So molar volume is useful because uh, the ideal gas law basically can not only uh, t tell you what the molar volume of an ideal gas is, but, but it can also be used to approximate uh, the volume of an ideal gas uh, that has, you know, close to standard conditions. So that's just uh, one aspect uh, of some of the applications of the ideal gas law. And in a later video, I'm going to post a couple of more applications. So stay tuned.